Hey guys, so I wanted to add this at the end of the video uh, to show you that sometimes things can affect our shifting and we are not able to even see it with our eyes. So I have here the number 18 uh, cog from that, uh, from that cassette, the Advent X 10 speed. And like I mentioned, I was having problems with uh, ghost shifting or skipping gears. I made sure my index was fine and uh, my cable wasn't stretched. Everything was working fine. My index, my uh, tension, uh, and I couldn't figure out what it was. So if you look at the cassette, uh, it didn't look like it was warm. I didn't think it was warm because it, it had been only 500 miles or so that I had used it. Yet it continued to have shifting problems. This was the gear that was giving me the main problem, which was the number 18 and the 15 right below it. Other than that, uh, the 11 one wasn't giving me any problems and the one on top, uh, on top of the 18 were not giving me problems either. It was just this one and it was uh, when it was under load. So I went ahead and uh, like I said, I measure using a caliper from side to side and everything appeared to be fine. It was just when you took a, a closer look to the cassette uh, teeth that you can see where uh, the problem was being caused uh, by. And so, I want to zoom in on the, I have right now on a stereo microscope. Uh, that's something else I do on the side. It's, it's another hobby of mine. I'm going to leave a link down below if you guys want to see the videos uh, that I have it. But if you zoom in onto one of the teeth, uh, like I said, this is, you know, I'm zooming in quite a lot. You can see where um, the, the actual part where the chain puts tension as you pedal forward it's worn out and it's not just worn out it's actually being uh, pancake and pushed forward um, you can see right here on each of the teeth uh, on the 18 um, so yeah I mean there's a lot of power that gets transferred to this cox right here but they are made out of hardened steel or so they claim uh, that's what uh, microchip claims or so I've never seen anything like this on any of the Shimano or Shrimp ones. Maybe some of the cheap ones. I haven't run any of those. But see, oh, look at this one right here. This is one of the uh, ones that has a ramp built in for uh, shifting. So you can see where it actually starts to uh, taper. And it's kind of like a pancake or, or, you know, smooshed in. This is just under regular, you know, power for my legs. Uh, this is not an e bike by any means. This is when you put in some wattage but it is the cogs that get used the most being you know the number 18 and number 15 so i'm just going to go cycle through so you can see where all of them have the same problem and uh yeah i mean it was i consider everything and when you consider everything and eliminate the, uh, do a process of an elimination you start to narrow it down and um you know basically it, it was the cassette so it's going to be a little bit it's kind of relatively cheap um, to actually replace this cassette, but I'm not sure if I want to go with uh, with the same cassette. I mean, uh, it's basically the same. They're, I don't think they've changed anything on it. Um, I would like to have an answer to this video if they see it, I, although I doubt it. But um, yeah, you can see where, so man, they're all worn out. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, quite dangerous especially if you're putting power to the wheels uh, and throw be thrown over the handlebars you know a bunch of things could happen uh, let me show you the older one as well this is the number 11 i believe and a uh, similar problem you start to see the same pattern not in all of them it's a smaller gear so I mean, it's going to be hard to use that gear and put a lot of power down when climbing but uh, you can see the, the same problem or similar problem See if we can zoom in uh, and so what happens is the roller normally you know puts this force right here but it's just going right over the top of this um, like i mentioned before this is it's supposed to be hardened steel and i think it is just i don't think it's the best quality steel uh, 500 miles you shouldn't have this type of damage to a uh, cogs i mean unless you're riding like an e-bike maybe i can see the torque maybe causing this problem and i've, I've heard that's one of the problems with uh, e-bikes going through cassettes and parts a lot faster than regular bikes but um yeah this shouldn't be the case with uh, a regular you know human power bike uh, or something like this to appear so quick um, 
aluminum cogs on the top the larger ones don't have this problem because it's uh, it's a leverage ratio thing where yeah you might be climbing on them but uh, the transfer or the power transfer going to those gears is a lot less since it's a larger diameter but look at this one right here this one, this is actually one of the worst ones i see so yeah chain was just going right over that uh when you put tension just skipping right over it so yeah i wanted to whoa yeah this one's actually worse i started to see worse i guess they there's a pattern to it but uh yeah um, something that you couldn't see with the naked eye so you know i just put it right on the microscope and i was able to see it and uh, i'm kind of glad i did because i was about to order a new the regular new everything because i couldn't figure out what it was uh, so. Yeah, so just keep that in mind if you guys are going to order this cassette, um, it's the Microchip Admin X. I'm going to try to reach out to them and see what they have to say about this. And uh, you know, hopefully I'll, I'll post whatever I hear back from them. Like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to order the same cassette or not. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and put them down in the comment below. Um, I'll be happy to answer those for you guys. All right, till then.